how to type in color on Discord. In this video, I'm going to show you several different methods to type in color within Discord. And if this video helps you, please consider giving it a like and also subscribe to my channel because that really helps me out. So before we get started, it's important to note that these colors will only be displayed within the desktop app or within the browser on Discord. If you're using the mobile app, you will not see these colors. And it's important to note that the only reason these colors are shown is because we're tricking Discord into showing them because it thinks that we're typing code. So as you can see here, if I edit this text, we are using some code and then typing the text in a certain way so that it is displayed in a color. Now check the description. I'll have all of the different code available for these below so that you can copy those and edit them, but I'll go over different things you need to look for and how you need to use these so that they work for you. So we'll start out with cornflower because in my opinion, it is the easiest. So when typing it, we need to first type three back ticks, and this is the key in the top left under the tilde, then type fix, use the enter key on your keyboard to go down a line. We can type anything we want here, then hit the enter key again, and then end it with three back ticks. Now we can hit enter, and as you can see, it sends that text as blue, and that's cornflower blue. Now pastel blue will be similar, where all we need to do is type the back ticks and then some text, then hit enter and type the text you want with some back ticks. But some of the other colors require different steps. So we'll first move up to the top two, and to type in red or orange, we need to do three back ticks, ML, then hit enter, and then the only way for it to show up in the color is if the word is capitalized. So if I write test, then hit enter, end it with three back ticks, and then hit enter, it'll send that text in the color. If a word is not capitalized, it will not be in color. So we can go through and look at these different colors, and if you see any weird symbols, such as this half bracket, a hash mark, things like that, that text requires that object to be in the line of text for it to change colors. So I'll show you an example here with the yellow text. I'm going to copy this and paste it down here. And if I remove these two colons, it will change the text back to gray. But if I add the two colons with a space at the end, then the text before the colons will be yellow. As you can see, it doesn't matter capitalization, anything like that. We just need those symbols in there. With the green text here, you have to have a plus symbol at the beginning. As you can see, if I copy and paste this down here and remove the plus symbol, the text will be gray. But if I add a plus symbol, I can type anything I want to and all that text will be highlighted and green. So really from here, all you need to do is go down to the description and you'll see the different formats required for the text, copy those, edit the text, and then you'll be able to send in that color. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. I'll do my best to help you. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel.